Hey everyone, it's Jill. And Michael from Note Folds. And we've got our March Stampin' Up! workshop. Holy moly, I can't believe it's March already. Already March. Halfway there. And we just marched through some cards this past weekend. <laughs> Good one, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do we want to start with? Let's start with that Delicate Ornaments Christmas card. Okay, we'll start with our Christmas card. As you know, every month we do make a Christmas card mm -hmm. with our demonstrator. Yeah. And this card sure had a lot of elements on it. We used um, the gold foil paper, we used vellum paper, we used the mm -hmm. Winter Wonderland Designer Series paper, that's that pine cone on the bottom. We used an embossing folder, mm -hmm. which is the softly falling embossing folder. We used some gold cording. I mean, we were just all over the map with this one. Yeah. And it was a ton of fun. It was a really easy card to make, but a lot, a lot of parts and pieces. Um, one of the challenging things that I found was connecting the vellum to the gold foil because it really didn't want to stick. I used a little bit of two-way glue and a glue dot. Yeah, this did turn out pretty good and it made a nice effect because you have that matte mm -hmm. from the vellum, but then you have yeah. the shininess from the gold and you can see it reflected there in the lights. Yeah, it's a really pretty card. Let's mm -hmm. see the inside sentiment. Okay. Isn't that nice? With loving wishes for a bright and beautiful season mm -hmm. and then just kind of echoed there mm -hmm. with the dye. Dye starlet. Very so, nice. Yeah. And what I liked about this card too is um, that it's sitting on just a rectangle of mm -hmm. paper. Yeah, that is one of my demonstrator signature yeah. things that she likes to do with the yeah, really uh, extra great. piece behind there. So, very pretty. Now moving on to a very appropriately designed uh, birthday card for spring, mm -hmm. I think. This one is called, it, it was actually intended to be an Easter card, however, um, I needed some birthday cards. Always so, need birthday cards. Always need birthday cards, so I stamped a happy birthday sentiment. Um, the background stamp that was used for this is unfortunately a retired Stampin' Up! stamp. It is the Pretty Petals background stamp, which mm -hmm. I'm sure is available on eBay. Mm -hmm. We used the Petite Petals to get all those flowers going around, which thank goodness... And yes, they all had, are punched out. ...had a coordinating die. Thank goodness. I mean, not a die, a coordinating punch, punch yes. to go with it because otherwise... Still had to punch them on. You know, that can really give your hand a workout. We, we would have been punching until <laughs> till the end of time. So, so thank goodness the Petite Petals, which also is an older stamp set, has, um, has the coordinating punch for that. And we used a lot of fun colors on here. Rose Red, Tangerine Tango, Island Indigo, Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, and Gumball Green. And as you can see, they blended together pretty nice. They did. Mm -hmm. And I think what was really interesting was these are not on individual dimensionals. Mm -hmm. They're actually glued onto this circular piece of paper, which itself is on a dimensional. Again, thank goodness. Otherwise, mm -hmm. that would have been a heck of a lot of dimensionals. And then just looks very nice inside there, uh, bringing in those petite petals again mm -hmm. and speaking of petals oh got my gosh flower. this was my favorite card that we this made yesterday great. this is from the rose wonder bundle set and um, the bundle has a stamp set that's got the rose stamp mm -hmm. which actually we didn't use the stamp i'll get to you i'll get to that in a moment mm -hmm. and it also in that stamp set has a ton of sentiments and that's really nice as well mm -hmm. and then it also comes with a coordinating die and what we did yeah. was we took the rose die punched it out of a piece of paper and made a template. Then we did some daubering to get the effect for the green and the pink and the yellow. And, um, and then on top of that, laid the black rose outline. Yeah, and it really made this like nice stained glass kind mm -hmm. of look. Yeah, and, and to, get, to get the shiny part, we used Wink of Stella. And this, yeah, if you can kind of see if I reflect it there in the light, it's a little got a glistening. bit of glisten to it. That is such a cool, cool card. I love it so much, it's so beautiful. I thought it turned out Totally, totally unique, and everybody who made that card, their roses yeah. were different. So it truly was a beautiful, beautiful yes. card. This is a great. Yeah, I really card. like the idea mm -hmm. of the the dye being used to kind of make this stained glass look, and using that wink of Stella just kind of mm -hmm. adds to that sheen. Yeah, and the original design for that card called for the rose outline to be in mm -hmm. white, but the black really made it pop, so we went with black. And then finally. The last card we did was made with the Botanical Gardens thinking, uh, Botanical Blooms set. Mm -hmm. And um, as you can see, it is min missing a sentiment on the bottom. I didn't really care for the sentiments that went there, and I happen to have Mossy Meadow ink. So I left that blank for right now. Mm -hmm. But um, it was fun to use the dye for the border there, and again, those three-dimensional flowers. Yeah, you'll remember from our... February workshop mm -hmm. we had used these. Yes, we used that last month that. as well and it, it was it's a pretty versatile set. Again, not my favorite. But it has like a nice tropical looking theme. Again, very appropriate for spring, summer coming up. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
we'll be finishing that one up soon, I think. Mm -hmm. But lots Absolutely. of great cards this month. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of a lot of unique designs. My favorite, of course, as you can tell, is the rose one. I mean, that is just mm -hmm. stunning. I'm going to have to get that yeah. added to the collection. Well, I can't wait to see what our demonstrator comes up for April. Yes, it'll be here before we know it. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you want to see that video. We'll be posting it up soon. As well as all of our other craft tutorials and stamp product reviews. If you like what we're doing, just give us a thumbs up. Make sure to leave us a comment if you've tried any of these cards or if you've done any variations on them. Until then, we'll see you next time.